I'm Chris Fox, and I'm trying to be an artist in Southern Arizona. One of the biggest challenges that I've had as an, as an artist is trying to figure out my own style. I mean, I hate trying to pigeonhole something into a specific style, per se. Uh, it drives me a little crazy to say like you're I mean, I'm not, a, I'm not a student of art other than looking at it and imitating it, right? But like, you know, there's there's Renaissance art and then there's Cubism and I, there's there's an array of different stylistic types of art. As someone who isn't educated in that space and other than owning a few books and paging my way through them to be influenced by, uh, I've worked to find my style. And what I've really realized is I, I, I don't I don't want one. I'm I'm a dabbler. I'm somebody who who likes to try something over here and try something over here and then kind of throw it all together. Uh, when I read a book, I read five different books at the same time. Um, when I work on a piece of art, I work on five or six different pieces of art at any given moment. I'm always I I, I need to, to spread my uh, creative aspirations into a number of different places because if I don't, I end up beating something to death. But I've been trying to find. A style, I guess, is what, what we might say. I've, I've taken influence from from some other artists, and uh, two of them that that have really kind of pushed me to maybe help myself find some sort of stylistic direction um, are Ten Hundred and Chutes. And what I find interesting about their stuff is it's very distinctly theirs. You know, even if their characters aren't in their pieces, it's very distinctly theirs. And and that's cool. I really dig that. I don't know if I'll ever get to that point, but I guess these are some of my dabbling attempts to figure out what that what that is. So this whole puking guy with the with the little with the little four-eyed bubble dudes um, is just a, a, a motif that I, I don't I don't know where it came from. I, I hope I'm not stealing it from anybody. It came across my repertoire somewhere and, uh, and and I started messing around with it. And so I've created a few of these pieces. And so I guess here is my favorite one and kind of the creative process of it. So I've learned to start toning all of my paintings now. Granted, sometimes I forget, but Toning actually makes it easier to fill the space because then when there's there's not white flashing through, and, uh, and actually you can really you can help undertone the paint as it goes on. So I like using warmer tones even if I'm using cold colors, and it, it just it, it's amazing what a difference it makes as you're painting on the on the canvas. I went through a lot of debate on what color to make these things. So the background was purple, so I thought, oh, okay, I'll do red and blue. And, uh, well, it, I changed my mind. Um, of course, I forgot to record when I did change my mind. So initially I had a, that guy on the right was yellow and uh, quickly realized how awful that was trying to, to uh, create shadow when it's such a bright color. So I switched to red. And then I quickly realized how challenging red was because it's not uh, not nearly as opaque as some of the cooler colors. Got to figure it out eventually, but uh, definitely an, an uphill struggle for sure. My favorite thing to do then is outline with, with the Posca pens. And, uh, and then I decided to you know, change the background color, which once the painting's already almost done, is uh, incredibly difficult. Figured it out, it took some time, and, and you can see some of the uh, issues that I had with it if you look at the painting up close, or, or from far away, it, it's got a, a cool gradient that's going on there. One of these days I'll remember to put the background on before I put the concept art on, and uh, maybe I won't have to deal with that, but we'll see. And then of course with anything else in an art video, I mean, we have to build up to the big reveal, right? I mean, I have, you, you've seen some of the other pieces and you saw this one getting made. So this is, this is the, the, the final product of uh, 
I guess the puke battle. Sure, we'll call it that. The the, the vomit battle. Now, somebody told me when they saw this, they, they immediately said, oh, it's it's a political piece because they're red and blue. And I, I immediately started banging my head against the wall. This is not intended to be political. I mean, feel free to take that as you see fit. Um, I'm not going to get into politics in this space because as much as art can help explore ideologies and can help explore and, and protest and everything else, at this juncture, I'm, I'm really not in that space. This is more just kind of my expression of an idea. So here it is, the, the dueling pukes. So if you like what you've seen, hit that subscribe button, give me a thumbs up, ring that little bell because then you get notified when new videos are coming out because I hope you like this. I'm enjoying doing them and I'm enjoying it because it's forcing me to make more art more often. And well, I guess, you know, come along on the, the journey of figuring out how to how to, to be an artist with me because that's that's my whole point of doing this. So 